I'm Bryn Caswell in Slavic Village. After the closure of the beloved butcher shop Saucy Sun back in December, a new business is finally taking its place. Over the years, News 5 has been following through on the revitalization efforts of Slavic Village. And this is why the owner of the new bake shop, Philomena, opening soon, is optimistic about the village's future. Sifting flour, you have to sift everything. Caitlin Shea's passion for baking is her purpose. It's been 10 years I've been trying to get a place like this. Her dream of opening her storefront, Philomena Bake Shop, is now a reality, coming soon this July. She's no rookie baker, though. What would you say your most popular item is? Ooh, um, the peanut butter cookie, I think, per unit, is right now the biggest seller. Over the past decade, she's been distributing her gluten-free, vegan goods around the region. Dozens of people have helped me get here. I don't feel like it just belongs to me. Philomena Bake Shop has replaced the once beloved butcher shop Saucy Sun, which closed its doors on Fleet Avenue in December. It was a tough loss for Slavic Village, as News 5 has been following. Finding new tenants for its partially redeveloped commercial corridor hasn't been easy. The latest business to close in Slavic Village was Fleet Bike Shop at the end of April. This neighborhood does have challenges, but there are so many good people really trying very hard to save it and to resuscitate it and to give it fresh life. One of those people trying is Cleveland City Councilwoman Rebecca Maurer. In a statement to News 5, Maurer said Philomena Bakery is part of the corridor's future. Shea says despite recent closures in the area, her new space has been a blessing to continue on her business. I didn't have a lot of options. And this one came together so beautifully, um, I had to take it. And also, yeah, I do live here, so I want to invest in this place and do what I can to help it along. Councilwoman Maurer will be hosting two events in June for residents and potential business prospects to learn more about the commercial corridor plans. Those details can be found on the web version of this story at news5cleveland.com. And if there are any stories you'd like me to follow through on, you can email me at brin.caswell at wews.com. Reporting in Slavic Village, Bryn Caswell, News 5.